Yeah. Speaking of, do you know do you know who Karen Greenlee is? No. Karen Greenlee is a woman uh, who existed back back in her around like the 1980s or so. Uh, she worked at a morgue, oh. and she fucked a lot of corpses at her job. Oh. She she actually she actually got for for fucking uh, between 20 and 40 dead men. She got 11 days in jail and a $255 fine, which yeah! maybe was a lot of money in the 1980s. I, I don't know. But <laughs> uh, usually, <laughs> usually. She got 11 days for fucking 40 corpses. Well, yeah, I mean, corpses don't really have rights if you think about it. They're only cotton <laughs> still human. You so were here first, yeah. Give her a long sentence. Corpses don't have rights. <laughs> So, usually men are the ones who are necrophiliacs, but in this case, the most prolific necrophiliac was a woman. That's nuts. I always hear, like, an, okay, the idea of, like, a man being able to commit necrophilia seems easy, like, easier, right? Yeah, yeah. Because with, if you're a woman doing it with male corpses, you have to figure out, like, how to hold that up, right? Because it's, well, it's not like it's stiff. Well, I mean, corpses experience rigor mortis where the whole body goes stiff, right? Does the cock also get stiff with rigor mortis? Because if it does, that means that it would be easier for women to commit necrophilia, but harder for people who work at morgues, because they would then have to break the penis after it's rigor mortis. Wait, okay, let me let me Google. I want to know, are you dying with a boner? Do corpses <laughs> die with boners? As a male dies, his blood pressure drops to zero. Blood pressure is what causes an erection, so no. Well, all right, it doesn't get rigor mortis then, so I don't know. I don't know how she's doing it. Does rigor mortis cause boners? It's very common on Google. It was recommended to me. Let's see. No. Google knows? Google Google says that um, it's only in very specific cases of death that rigor mortis affects the penis, but it is most, most often not. So sometimes it can. I wonder if that's why she only fucked up to 40 corpses. Well, I mean, like, how many how many corpses are... Like, you have to do the math, right? How many corpses are coming in? Male corpses are coming in. And then of those male corpses that you have coming in per day, how many of them are the special case that rigor mortis to their penis? That's true. I don't know if we're allowed to count corpses, though. Why not? You're not supposed to notice the numbers of things. You have to ignore numbers. In this, in this article, I'm trying to- I'm trying to find- I'm trying to find if there's, like, any more information on this lady. And I- I come upon a sentence that says, Of course, with all the AIDS going around. <laughs> I- That's the reason I- I haven't tried anything lately, she said. I'm sure I have found a way to get into one of those funeral homes by now, but the group I find attractive, young men in their 20s, are the ones who are dying of AIDS. Does, does that mean she might have fucked corpses of gay men? Is that is that an additional crime on top of that? Like, she wasn't just a necrophiliac, she was homophobic too! <laughs> she said, I can fix them for real, for real! Oh my god. Let me, let me link this to you. Doing her part so they could, they could get into heaven, you know? Oh my god, she said, I find the odor of death very erotic. There are death odors and there are death odors. Ew. Now you get your body that's been floating in the bay for two weeks, or a, a burn victim. That doesn't attract me much, but a freshly embalmed corpse is something else. Have you ever smelled a corpse before? I I have not smelled a corpse. I've only seen freshly dead people. Have you smelled freshly dead people? No, I usually go to the other side of the street when I saw them get shot, because like I don't want to be involved in that, you know? Oh, so, so, so true. <laughs> well, okay, there's, there's this museum, right? And they have, like, like crime scene stuff in there, right? Like, a bunch of, like, taxidermy animals, and, like, they have, like, a severed head of some dude, and, like, mm -hmm. they have, like, a bunch of, like, caskets and stuff, and, like, you could smell all the stuff. And if that's the smell that, like, the, the smell of that museum is the smell of a mortuary, there's nothing erotic about that! That shit's stinky! I can only imagine it would be even worse though, right? Because like... People at a morgue, don't they... I mean, I guess morgue people might not be the ones who perform the autopsies. The autopsy's probably done at the hospital, and then the morgue people have to like... Make the corpse pretty. 
Yeah. So it, it's probably like extra stinky. Ew, they're doing all the stinky work. Well, okay, and then like when you cut open like a corpse, right? So like, okay, I'm getting I'm getting you ready for your your death, okay? Like I'm cutting you open. I'm imagining. And like your gases come out, right? Like you yeah. fart to the extreme. So isn't that like Yeah, you sometimes shave stinky? yourself, too. You so maybe maybe there's also an element of scat. I don't know. She says when you're on top of a body, it tends to purge blood out of its mouth while you're making passionate love. <laughs> so I guess she also likes that. What the fuck? Yeah, I love it when my <laughs> lover coughs up blood. Ooh, nothing gets me going more than seeing the blood pour out of their mouth. Oh my god, can you imagine if the blood was also pouring out of their eyes and they looked like a plague victim? <laughs> Wait, that's kind oh of erotic. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that I can get behind. That's erotic. The mouth, maybe not so much, but the eyes? What? Why, why is the blood out of the eyes erotic? Is it just because they find you, like, so enthralling that they're crying blood for you? You know, like, in anime, when guys get nosebleeds when, like, the girl has, like, a panty shot? Yeah. It's the same thing. Oh, uh, you know, I can see it. I get I get it! I'm following you! Yeah, yeah! Yeah, so, like, they see you and they're like, Ooh, she's so cute, ooh, and then they start crying blood. <laughs> I think what's really weird about this lady is, uh, she was asked, did you usually attend the funerals of your corpse lovers? And she said, yeah, it was convenient working in the funeral homes. I'd get to drive out to the cemetery with the family. I'd get to mourn right along with the family at the loss of the loved one. Except I was groaning in a little different tone. People can't really tell if you're grief stricken or passion stricken. And I've had members of families put their arms around me and say, we're so glad you could come. And she's like, yeah, me too, last night. With the corpse. <laughs> what the fuck? How, how messed up in the brain do you have to be to be like, yeah, I just fucked your family member who's dead, and now I'm going to attend the funeral so I can see them get lifted into the ground around all of their grieving family. They're, like, lowering the body into the ground, and then this woman's thinking, like, no one knows my cum is inside of them. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hate it! What I the hate fuck? it! What the heck? Okay. The question I am most often asked is how does she do it? People ask questions like that. Even people who seem pretty cool seem to have open minds. And when you tell them, they say, that's very interesting. <laughs> and they uh. don't want to have much to do with me. I don't mind telling people how to do it, but anyone adept sexually shouldn't have to ask. Apparently, we're not sexually adept, Leah, because we didn't we fuck didn't know corpses. how it would work with corpse. Okay, okay. <laughs> People have this misconception that there has to be penetration for sexual gratification, which is bullshit! The most sensitive part of a woman is the front area anyways, and that is what needs to be stimulated. Besides, there are different aspects of sexual expression. Touchy-feely, 69, holding hands. She's that body is just corpses. lying there. She has 69 corpses! What the fuck? How do you even 69 the corpse? Do you have to like pull the tongue out of the mouth and like lay it on the chin and then just like rub on it? Do you, like, do I don't... you use its nose? I don't like to think about that. Like, she, you... I guess she could do penetration with the nose like a little bit. Like a little bit. I don't know. I'm talking about like like rub rubbing on the nose, right? So like she's she's going to town, but like the dead person is just like, let me, hey ma'am, let me get a sniff of your Gucci. <laughs> She's gonna bring someone back to life accidentally one day. <laughs> That's uh, I, I just what if she accidentally broke the nose because she was rubbing on it too hard? Like, wouldn't people notice? I mean, like, but part of like the mortuary thing is like them like doing like facial reconstruction and stuff, right? Uh, yeah, but like, if your loved one didn't die and have like issues of their face. Wouldn't you notice? I mean, like, especially if a nose was broken. I guess the excuse of, like, it just rotted off so we had to replace it. Like, what, the family's not gonna know in that instant. They're just gonna be like, oh my god, my son is dead. That's, that's true. They're just be like, I'm an average person. I don't understand what happens to a body uh, after it dies. Yeah. <laughs> and then this woman is sitting there like, I just 69'd your dead son. Oh my god. I just 69'd your dead son and now I'm gonna sit here and grieve with you. <laughs> like a weirdo. What the fuck? And then she was like moaning in the back of like these funerals and stuff. So the body is lowering to like its grave, right? The whole family is like... <laughs> and she's like... Ah, you know she's gotten ah. off of this afterwards as well, right? Oh. 
Like, there's no way she doesn't just go home and, like, jerk off thinking about it. Oh, oh, oh. Just another Tuesday. Let's repeat it again on Average. Thursday. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> dying a virgin and then still going to hell for premarital sex. Oh, my God. <laughs> This this woman made someone go to hell, probably. <laughs> oh god, that's killing me. <laughs> someone in my chat said the dick was to die for. <laughs> oh, it's so good. God damn. Oh, uh, she said she was asked, "When did you first become aware of your necrophilia?" It's something I've been attracted to all my life. I used to hold funeral services for my pets when they died. Had a little pet graveyard. I lived in a small town and the fireman's barbecue was next door to a funeral home. To go to the bathroom, you had to use the facilities in the funeral home. I'd find any excuse I could to go to the bathroom. And then I'd take side trips and wander around the mortuary. So this- this woman wanted to fuck corpses since she was a kid! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's- let's back it up. Okay, right? So she had an infatuation with, like, the, the mortuary, right? Not, not fucking her dead animals. She was just, like, burying them and, like... Well, you don't know that. I mean, she, she could just feel kind of awkward about talking about having defiled her dead pet's corpses. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna play the innocence card. Not white girls <laughs> fuck dogs. Shut the fuck up. White girls fuck dead dogs now. <laughs> Stop, that's what they're putting in my chat. <laughs> <laughs> No! Okay, because when I was a kid, right? When I was a kid. I also had, like, a really big infatuation with, like, funeral homes and stuff, and I would wander around in them. What? Yeah. Like, but I, why? I just... Because it's... Because it's cool? I mean... I, I guess I went to cemeteries a handful of times, but, like, that was just because, you know, teenager things. I was never really infatuated with funeral homes. They didn't... They didn't catch my attention. I was like, I don't want to be around, like, recently dead people. Really? Yeah, like, I mean, I, I didn't find any fascination. Did you find a fascination with recently dead people? Yeah. Did Did you want to fuck the recently no, dead people? No, see, that's where the, <laughs> the line is in the sand, right? <laughs> there is, like, you, you, can, you can be, like, you're very interested, right? And infatuated with the concept of death. But no, you're, I'm not gonna go and fuck, like, Stuart Wilson from next door when he rolls over and dies. No, thank you! Fucking Stuart? Would you hold his hand? No! <laughs> okay, okay, listen, Oh my listen. god. So there was, like, recently... Recently, my neighbor got shot and killed. And, like, I was interested, right? I, I was really yeah. interested, but I wasn't like, wow, let me go see the corpse. Ooh, I was like, this, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I live next to a dead person's house. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I guess I could understand that.